What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're here with Atticus, and we're on the Normandy. Let's head out. Let's get started. It is time to do the Reaper IFF. Did I click on this planet, I guess? Maybe? Before we load it in? Let me see something here. <laughs> Where are we at? There we go. You know what's so interesting about the Reaper IFF? I must have clicked on this. But there's... What's so interesting about the Reaper IFF is we get this mission so long ago, and they kind of expect you to just wait on it. At the end of, what was it, the collector ship, one squad member tells us to go off and do the Reaper IFF immediately, and the other one tells us to build our team more. I think Miranda said build the team, and Jacob said rush off. So, they do warn us. I'm just baffled that it's actually been around 30 episodes since we did the last main mission. The Shub. The first and larger of two gas giants in the Hulk and Ada gateway system. The Shub is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. The brown and orange coloration in its upper cloud decks are caused by the upswelling of sulfur from lower levels of the atmosphere. Sure. Probe away. Depleted. Easy peasy. We're out of money, by the way, so we're kind of... Well, we don't have any more money to get fuel and stuff, so let's hope we don't run out. A bat is a methane ammonia ice giant when heavy metals exo mining of China won the bidding rights of development to the moon of Presrop in the Century System. It began to establish helium-3 refueling facility on Hebat. The station completed this year is considered a model facility by the executives of the state-run company. Though the station produces more than enough fuel to supply the HMEC ships running to and from Century, it has a crew of only a dozen for maintenance and oversight. Nearly all day-to-day -day operations are automated. Whoa. All right. Launching probe. On to the next. We have two little systems here, but we need to, like I said, be careful. Because uh, this is all the fuel we have here. Let me just see if we can get more fuel. Go into the negatives a bit more. Look, we're negative. Well, let's just get more fuel, but we can't. We don't have any credits. What is it? I wonder why we're. how we were able to do that. Swartzchild? We'll go to Swartzchild, then Sentry, then we will go to Thorn. Just to knock out these places first. Edemus. Edemus is a super terrestrial world, a third larger than Earth. It is in a post garden state that clearly shows evidence of attack from space. While now waterless, the shores of former oceans show patterns of cratering too regular to be anything but saturation bombardment by dreadnought class kinetic weapons. Although it is unclear how, most of the atmosphere has been lost. Archaeologists have found little of note. It appears that all settled regions were touched by the global bombardment. The few relics found suggested an advanced spacefaring culture thrived on the world somewhere between from 20 and 40 million years ago. The level of antiquity makes it impossible to estimate the world's former population or guess whether it was the race's homeworld or a colony. Edemus. Probe away. Reapers, maybe? Do you think? 20 to 40,000 years ago. It makes sense if it was. The Reapers are 50,000 years ago, though, they say. Atta Hill? A typical Venetian greenhouse world, Atta Hill is only of note for a few scattered craters. Though flattened by millions of years of high pressure, the marks of orbital bombardment strikes are unmistakable. It is generally accepted among academics that whoever hailed from or settled Schwarzschild's second planet, Edemus, must have an outpost on Atta Hill as well. Launching probe. There we go. 50%? Well, I guess it's not as big as what we thought. Look at this purple planet. Oh, the purple ones are so awesome looking. Lenosa. Lenosa is a hydrogen helium gas giant. It is surrounded by several thin rings of debris. Analysis of this debris has been difficult due to its extreme age and fragility. But several apparently nano manufactured materials have been identified. The leading theory is that the inhabitants of Edemus mined the atmosphere for helium-3. Probe away. 
easy peasy. How the hell were we able to get gas still? What is it taking? If not taking money, then how do how 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 does it? I don't know. Rahali is a typical hydrogen helium gas giant. It is notable because none of its moons is larger than 12 kilometers in diameter. A rare trait among the charted gas giants in the galaxy. Probe away. Shall we head to the next one? 100% in Schwarzschild. Saying that right? Schwarzschild? <laughs> Shall we get more gas? I'm curious to see what happens if we end up running out of gas. What is this one? Maybe just four? Clendigan? Clendigan is a arid terrestrial slightly larger than Earth, but with the lower density that reflects its relative lack of heavier elements, the crust is composed of tin and aluminum. With wide deserts of dust-fine sand that are easily stirred by the wind. Lennigan's most striking feature is the Great Rift Valley that stretches across the Southern Hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is that it does not appear to be natural. The geological record suggests it was the result of a glancing blow. By a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power, this occurred some 37 million years ago. Well, you gotta think that the Reapers come 50,000 years ago, but it takes so long to extinguish all life in the galaxy, probably. We read about this planet in the first game. I remember the big rift in the middle of the planet away. that we were able to see. Can we still see the rift? Can't see it in this game, at least. I thought that planet was orange. It looked orange in the first game, did it not? Well, there we go. Throw back to Mass Effect 1. I do remember it because I remember touching down on the planet. And then we were able, or touching down on the moon or something, we were able to see that planet. Tamahira? Has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and xenon. The surface is icy and composed of sodium oxide with deposits of calcium. It contains a few unremarkable metals, but mainly consists of rock. The presence of canyons and flood plains indicate that liquid water once existed, suggesting Tamahera had a thicker, insulating atmosphere in the past. Launching probe. Okay. Thank you, sir, ma'am, everyone. Cantra. A terrestrial world of average size, Cantra's atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of calcium. Aside from some spectacular formations of water ice in the poles, the planet has little to recommend it. I feel like we read Cantra. Wasn't that the warlord? Launching probe. The female warlord we read about in the first game. The write-up isn't about the female warlord in this game, but it was a write-up about a female warlord. Shiager? What's that name? Even Grunt tells us about Cantra. Therapto is a typical ice giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. It has over 100 moons and an extensive ring system composed of pulverizing rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. Launching probe. Sentry system, here we come. Because that's 100%, yeah? Well, this is the sentry system. We already came, saw, and conquered. Thorn! Let me in. It's worth 75, 76% of all percents. The Reaper IFF. It's a derelict fucking Reaper. It's just sitting here, yeah? That's just not crazy at all. Lent is the largest moon of that name. Massive enough to retain its own thin atmosphere of methane and nitrogen, and heated by the brown dwarf to relatively moderate temperatures. While nearly the size of Earth, its overall density is low, suggesting a paucity of valuable heavy metals. It is tidally locked to that planet. One hemisphere always bathed in the brown dwarf's heat and dim red light. The moons experience constant weak tectonic activity driven by the tidal fluxes of Gravity rather than least own internal heat. Several large ancient volcanoes release wide ranging flows of molten silicate. They know we can't say that word. So they say it like 75 times. Just know that you can't say it. At least I can't say it. MC, you know the M silent on that, but just can't say it. What's this one? That one, yeah. 
Let's try to see if we can say it. Nemesine? Astabe. Nemsine is a brown dwarf of approximately 37 Jupiter masses. It is young enough that some nuclear fusion still occurs within its depths. It is luminous and radiates more heat than it receives from the star Thorn. With an atmosphere temperature in excess of 1,800 degrees Kelvin, 1,500 degrees Celsius, early probes of Thorn showed evidence of a minor gravitic anomaly in the northern hemisphere. This area of unexpectedly low mass did not move with the prevailing wind patterns. While an investigation was planned by the Berseral Institution, Planetary Science, the school ultimately sent an expedition to study the famed deep anomalies of the gas giant Ploba instead. Fuck this place, we're, we're going to do Ploba. Well, there we go. Tongue twisters at its finest. Is there any more over here? And we're at 66, so the derelict Reaper. Can't imagine just a Reaper floating, it is. A Reaper just fucking... Whoa! Come on, Shepard! Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is 100%, it is! 100%, here we go. Derelict Reaper just floating in space for... Who knows how long. Orbiting... Nemesine is two kilometer long ship with the unmistakable profile of a Reaper. It is given off power signatures in localized areas, but they are far weaker than a ship size would indicate. The Reaper seems to maintain a Mass Effect field that has kept it from falling into a failed star. But massive holes have been blasted and melted into parts of the hull and remain unrepaired. The only logical conclusion is that the Reaper died, or was at least reduced to minimal functioning a long time ago. Shall we? What do we have to lose but our lives? Seems to be a good price, maybe, if we can stay alive. Who are we gonna bring? Reaper IFF. Who are we going to bring? Who has not been on main missions? Garrus, you've been on every single main mission just about. I wanna do Tally. Because I wanna try Tally's energy drain with our energy drain at once. I'm thinking either Samara or Grunt. We have not used any of them on main missions. Though we could use Zaid's... Whatever it is. Inferno Grenade. I feel like we should do Samara. When's the last time we really took Samara? It's been quite a while. It's just so many squad mates in this game, you only have so many to take around. It's... We just haven't really had a chance to, to use all of them as much as I want. Samara it is. Tally and Samara. Tally! Energy drain. Oh, we have three more friggin' points. Well, best we can do is AI hacking, I guess. Samara is good. We'll do... Throw or pull? We'll do your pull, Samara. And then Shepard is good to go. Look at the energy drain. You know, I was thinking about doing heavy energy drain. Because heavy energy drain hits for 200 points and that's just like overload. It'll really strip them shields. We don't need to hit multiple people. We needed to just take the shields off of who we're fighting. We'll think about it next time. We will. To respec again. Shepard, Mantis, Locust, Carnifex, and Kane. That works. Maddox and Locust. And the Phalnix and Geth Plasma. Let's go! What's with all the chop, Joker? Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. But there's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the Ladar paints its silhouette as Geth. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Holy moly, look at this fucking Eye massive the Reaper. Hurricane, huh? Eye of the Hurricane for sure, Joker. Well, it's good then we got Tally here, then if we got Geth on board. I was thinking we're fighting collectors, but here we are, we're about to fight Geth. 
ladies. Let's get stuff on board. Tally, I want to put your drone here. Reeve here. Samara's full. Damn. We, um. We can't really use Tally's energy drain either. <laughs> we don't have enough fucking areas. I can get rid of my pool. I don't think we should get rid of Shepard's abilities at all up there because Shepard's. Well, we can spam so much. Well, I think that's probably good. Sorry, Tally, I want to use your energy drain too. But. Good thing is, she'll use it if she needs it. Yeah. Maybe we should put it up there. We'll get rid of our pool. We'll keep some Mars up there. We can't get rid of our pool. Can we? I think we can. Uh, I can't get rid of my pool. That's fine. Come on. Stop second guessing. I'm just second my guessing myself so much lately. Come on, let's go. Even over decisions on putting abilities up there. Come on. This does not look like the work of Geth. Really? Are you sure? Whoa. It kind of looks charred. You like Tally's outfit? Oh, I love it. This does not look like the work of Geth, Samara said. It looked completely charred. Lay log. So let's bypass the safe first. 4,000 credits. Hey, we're out of the negatives. That's something. What could it be if not yet? Oh, what does... I can't believe we're on a Reaper. This is a nice place for it being on a Reaper. And there's like stations everywhere like medical stations what's going on here the airlock has been installed at the far end of the hold section we have begun pressurization for shirt sleeves work the crew is edgy i reassure them it is mere nerves a superstitious reaction to what this hulk represents the corpse of a vast ancient life form privately i can't deny the atmosphere the angles of the wall seem to press down on you I find myself clenching my teeth. You're getting indoctrinated. Reaper's indoctrinated. Yep, that's exactly the first thing I thought about. We're gonna read that. In the He's gonna read to us. Reaper indoctrination is an insidious means of corrupting organic minds, reprogramming the brain through physical and psychological conditioning, using electromagnetic fields, infrasonic and ultrasonic noise, and other subliminal methods. The Reaper's resulting control over the limbic system leaves the victim highly susceptible to its suggestions. Organics undergoing indoctrination may complain of headaches and buzzing or ringing in their ears. As time passes, they have feelings of being watched and hallucinations of ghostly presences. Ultimately, the Reaper gains the ability to use the victim's body to amplify its signals, manifesting as alien voices in the mind. Indoctrination can create perfect deep cover agents. A Reaper's suggestions can manipulate victims into betraying friends, trusting enemies, or viewing the Reaper itself with superstitious awe. Should a Reaper subvert a well-placed political or military leader, the resulting chaos can bring down nations. Long-term physical effects of the manipulation are unsustainable. Higher mental functioning decays, ultimately leaving the victim a gibbering animal. Rapid indoctrination is possible, but causes this decay in days or weeks. Slow, patient indoctrination allows the thrall to last for months or years. Do you think it's possible to ever be indoctrinated? I feel like Morton touched on this. Once you're done, you're done. You're just a shell. There's no turning back. You can't can't be cured from indoctrination. It could take days to weeks for indoctrination. How do you beat an enemy that turns all organic life against themselves? You just... I, I don't know. We also have to deal with the whole Hus situation. That's Reaper tech, is it not? 
because they brought Reapers, or Reapers, they brought miniature Reapers to Horizon. They brought all them Hus to Horizon. And that's kind of all we know at this point. They turned their, they turned, go, just go with the theory that they probably turned dead against us. It's got to be them. And ultimately, they can just dominate your mind. How do you beat that? Not to mention, they're fucking huge. Wait, is that it? Oh, Zaid's. Oh, we'll read that later, because that's just the. Um, I know exactly what that is. We'll read that later. We'll read it at the end. That is the flamethrower weapon. I want to get to this mission. I don't want to read about a flamethrower weapon at the moment. It was a pretty interesting weapon, though. 2,000 credits. Let's keep on going. The Cerberus team here from the Elusive Man, didn't they say that they, um, they were going to study? Or study in the Reaper? They found the Reaper? Someone found the Reaper? Just fucking found it. How? It's just there. Oh, there's a Reaper. It looks like the Elusive Man knows everything. I know where a Reaper is. Let's go find it. Crazy. We finished cataloging specimens A203 to B016. No evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chindana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chindana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. Indoctrinated fully. At this point, friends, seriously, 37 million years old Reaper, derelict Reaper. Does the Reaper not have a way to contact the other Reapers and get them to come here and get them? Or do the Reapers go with the theory, leave the dead where they stand? Harbinger says that to us all the time. If you're dead, just leave them there. But maybe the Reaper, the other Reapers would destroy this Reaper so no one would find out about the Reapers? It's just so odd that the Reaper is here. Just sitting here. Normandy to shore party. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. Just blast us out. What else can we try? Maybe we can shut them off. Joker, blast this out. The Normandy's got guns. Use them. The Normandy lacks the necessary firepower. Reaper shields are impervious to dreadnought fire. Shepard, a kinetic barrier can only be produced by a mass effect generator. That is true for any ship, even a Reaper. At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex mass effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that Shit. means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. Well, Joker. I have a feeling you'll be able to get us out. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Take it easy, Joker. Escape the wreck. Destroy the generators inside the Reaper to take down the barriers. Damn, we didn't actually read the quest. Let's read it. To pass through the Omega-4 relay safely, the Normandy will need a Reaper design identify friend foe IFF device. One of these Reaper IFFs may be found on a derelict Reaper Hawk being investigated by Cerberus. That makes sense now we know that they're investigating him fully. Destroy the generators deep inside the Reaper to take down the barriers. We are about to step foot into a freaking Reaper. Right here. This is it. Friends. Dreadnought fire does not work on Reaper shields. So we know that from the first game. Remember, we had to take I down. If the data they recovered was worth all these lives. The Cerberus seems like it is. These enemies are just burned out. It looks like. What is what's going on with the Geth here, though? There's Geth here as well. Said so there was a ship. You're married. You never mentioned that. Katie had anger management issues. When my brother got married, the best man tried to hit on her. She kicked him down the church steps. But what? Katie's my wife. I, I must have told you this story. No, I know my wife. I remember that day was the only time I saw her wear stockings. Yeah, the, the, 
kind with seams up the back. That's what I remember, too. What the hell is this? How can we remember the same thing? They're this making, place affected their minds. They're making you remember what they want you to remember. Holy moly. Well, they're touching on indoctrination, finally. It's quite scary. It really is. I don't know how else to say it. It's just fucking scary to think about. Where the hell's the enemies? There's not. Oh, is this there. another trap? Zombies! Yeah, blow them up. Good job, Tally. There you go. Throw them in the fucking grave. For good. Biotics really crush them. Remember that from the Reaper ship? Take their shields off or armor and then boom, Biotic dead. Samara. I'm here. Understood. Come on back here. Where are you going? Grunt would have been good here too. The technology to make husks came from the Geth or Sovereign. I Geth origin know. never made sense to me. This confirms it's from the Reapers. Yeah. We were just talking about it. And I was suspecting that the uh, Reapers do. So the Reapers make the husks. They made the Protheans what they are, which are now collectors. The Huss, it makes me feel like each of these indoctrinated Eyes up front. enemies are a species in our galaxy. So, Husk are probably humans. Over here. We're wrecking them. We should... I'm going to switch abilities. Warp's going to go over here. Yeah, it's going to have to. Because we're going to be throwing a lot of throw. What? Fuck oh, that. <laughs> Everyone is... We're going to have to get to our pistol. I think it's time. Some more. Yeah, we missed. Some more dead now. Good riddance. Oh. Good riddance. <laughs> Biotics are so good. Some more. Did you see the Hus swarm our companions? We got a Husk Armada here. I wasn't expecting a Hus. I was kind of expecting collectors. Well, we in Horizon they brought Hus with them. Come on, you want more? Woo, that takes it off in one. Go for the Go for the Maybe not one. So it don't work every time. It's like they resist it. Good thing we update it throw. Though pull works too. What cool what has lower cooldown? Pull or throw. Oh, uh, we can't know from here. Hey Tally, how are you? Samara. What's your pull cooldown? Nine seconds? Throw. Retort time is nine seconds, so it's probably the same for Shepard. Not nine seconds over Shepard. Shepard can spam. Recharge time, three seconds. What is pool? Three seconds. It don't matter. As long as we don't use warp. We good? Any more coming? Third day with this headache. You'd think Chandana would have let me have a few hours off. God damn! What? That thing, that just gray thing. It, it disappeared when I looked straight at it. It came out of the damn wall. Where we took off that panel. I didn't see anything. You should lie down. I'm telling you, the ship isn't dead. It knows we're inside it. Calm down. Now I'm getting a headache. It feels threatened at the moment. Because it threw up its kinetic barriers. It fully feels threatened at Shepard's ship. I don't know if it felt threatened with them. But it just uh, indoctrinated all of them. Oh my word. This Gunfire. place. 
the shooter could be part of the Cerberus team. Maybe. We should make contact. It makes sense. We should. This should come in Cerberus. handy. Cerberus? Oh, that sniper, friend. Look at this fucking sniper! Just pick it up and take it! We should make contact? Yeah, it's gotta be one of the Cerberus people. I don't see nothing. Enemy. Wait, there's something walking back there. What the fuck is that? Nothing's see that? What the hell was that? Oh! It's one of the big boys. You're gonna kinda kill a lot more. Yeah, my shield. We got a fucking scion again. Cop that throne away. Alright, throwing down singularity. I want to throw it over here. Put the drone out, Tally. No, let's get behind cover. Or let's just run. Shepard! That was so close. We'll be alright. Just calm it down. Oh, fuck. We're out of pistol rounds. Hey, Tally. At least you're still going. We got this Scion. We're gonna have to deal with him. All right, throw's not gonna work on him. Let's get our... Sniper. Oh my word. Our sniper does serious. Valley, your drone is... Beasting. Sit the fuck down. Let me get some more ammo here. Cause we're fucking getting destroyed. There we go. Ooh! What a scary place! <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. Where are we supposed to go? It's got us going here. Hold on, let's go over here. I could have swore I'd seen something walking back there. Well, who's the snipe? Where's the sniper hat? I won't lie, this place is really unsettling, but I'm happy they finally touched on indo indoctrination in some fashion, some way. Did it say help Tally over here? Mac? What said help Tally? Oh! Talk to Tally, Alter. Hold on, Tally. Let me hack this terminal. Oh, it's gotta be a research upgrade! It's something. Oh, no. Because it's not not showing credits, so it's definitely something. Where are you at? There we go. Sneaky. We can use this. Heavy skin weave, there we go! More damage reduction stuff. We've seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth used them on Eden Prime. I have heard of them being dug up on worlds that are far older than the Geth. I believe they are Reaper artifacts. Uh, you're right. You're completely right. The Reapers has given it to the Geth because the Geth was working for Sovereign in the first game. Makes me wonder how much control would the Reapers have over synthetic life. See how the room is arranged? 
They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. They are. They don't deserve this. I remember these. Nobody touched them. I remember these. I want to say that because I want to. I want to hear if it's, it comes up. They don't deserve this. They don't deserve this. I do want to say this though. I've seen a few myself, on Eden Prime, and a few other places. Keep sharp. The science team was nearly a hundred strong. There may be a lot more husks in here. Fuck in hell. Husk. Lots of husks. The whole team then is indoctrinated and not telling what was here before. Well, would anything be here before? Just random people that may have stumbled upon this got on it and was like, okay, let's explore. And then, boom. Indoctrination. And then a hundred strong. Fucking hundred some of us. Well, friends. I'd say it's not exciting because us do keep it. It's the right word. Keep us on our toes, I guess. Keep us running. <laughs> running around. Oh, here we go. We just got help from a cat. Shepard Commander. <laughs> what? He's fucking talking to us. <laughs> what the fuck Sounds is going like on? I have never heard of a geth speaking to organics. <laughs> it shouldn't be able to talk. A single geth has no more intelligence than a Varen. What the hell is going on? Are we getting indoctrinated now, too? Did you see that Geth? Hold on here. Shepherd Commander. It said Shepherd Commander, but it also had... It had our stripe on its... Uh... Thing. Look. It had our... Shoulder thing. Our red shoulder stripe. Unless that was just part of its armor. It looked like it was, at least. Well, yeah. there... That... Fuck. That's why the guests here, they're here for some reason. But one single guest wouldn't do nothing, just like Tally said. It shouldn't really be that... Right? What do we know about the guest? Didn't she say they have like a hive mind? Come on. Hell out of here. Here we go some more. Best thing we can do is just keep blocking them. Well, this is interesting as hell. We get on a Reaper. Everyone gets indoctrinated and now we have a Geth talking to us. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is great! Come on, let's go! I'm curious to see what else is gonna happen. Where's that at? It's up here. Access terminal. Fuck do you get Oh, we probably go down then. Incoming. Hello, husks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Let's keep throwing and running. Can't run back too much farther. Taking heavy fire. Oh shit. Where's he at? All right, you guys work on the husks. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna work on him. Let's get Sniper out. Fucking whoop his ass. This should soften him up. There you go. Oh, always gotta reload. Hold on, hold on. Lock with singularity. We got one shot on him. We ain't gonna be able to do this with a sniper. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's 
Let's get Tally back up. Can we? No, we're blocked. Tally. There it is. Whoa, fucking moly. Oh, we can't pull him. Man, Tally's combat drone is so good. It's holding such good aggro right now. Attack drone may have been the way to go. For sure, for sure. I was thinking about going explosive. Good girl. Come on, husks. Bring it the fuck on. Anyone else want some? No one kills the chica. Shit. Any more ammo anywhere? Holy fucking hell. Shepherd Commander. <laughs> Motherfucker, talk to us. Well, Sovereign talked to us. So I'm sure it's not unheard of. But it makes me wonder what the fuck the Geth are doing here. Just one Geth. There could be other Geth, though. Didn't confirm that it was just one, yeah? But Tally said... I guess Tally's basically confirming that it is only one Geth. 3,000 credits. What do you think we'll run into next? Us? Singularity is fucking invaluable here. Just blocking Hus. There you go, Tally. Keep Singularity going. Sucker. Knock Singularity out. Take that. They can't do nothing. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> this is great. Fucking Adept's dream. It has been very tough with the Adept at times because we know that it's hard to deal with defensives. Defenses? What? The, the adept, it really is. We have to get a little bit of help with overload and stuff. But when it comes to armor, husk in general, the adept's dream. Hey, Samora, how you doing? Think we'll Hostiles get in some more shit? Husk, don't worry me. The scions with the husk. There's another one. There you go, Samora. We may have waited. We had to thin out the husk first before we could work on a scion. Just keep throwing singularity. Stuff. We're running out of ammo. Tally, run! Whoa, where the fuck did you come from? Samora, run! <laughs> Fucking whole ass! See if we can run and get this ammo. Bring it the hell on! Come on. Get behind cover. You see that husky was running fucking sideways. <laughs> there it is. Fuck out of here. We need to work on this scion. What's the scion doing? It's just chilling over there. They don't really care about us. They should be on that.
There you go, Samara. Right behind Come on. you. I need you guys to shoot this sucker. Ali's drone is fucking beastly. It's really helping a lot. She would have helped so much on Horizon. Remember Horizon? Cerberus shotgun? Now what's this? Now what is this? Power cells. Whoa. Damn, this is so many husks. Terminal. We have another open area up here. Kind of open. Hostiles there. Oh no. I'm hauling ass. We got hit by. Oh, there's two of them. No. <laughs> Tally got fucking wrecked. We can't have Tally dead. Can we get Tally up? Tachika's up and rolling, which is good. Come on, Tally. Please. Oh, she's stuck again. Tally, I'm sorry. Please get over here. Damn it, she died again. You son of a bitches. You didn't even let her get up. Some more. We gotta run. Understood. Get back here. I'm fucking stuck. What error. <laughs> Samara's dead too. We're gonna have to solo it. A little bit for now. We gotta thin out the husks here. Before we can work on the scions because our companions got fucking shredded. Now it might be time to get our companions up. Damn, two metagels, three metagels, four metagels this mission. On my way. We'll get our sniper out. We can cane him. I don't want to cane him. Let's fight him. Taking heavy fire. Hang in there, Shepard. Tally's up there. Damn it, we gotta reload. Tally, look at her, she's fucking tanking. <laughs> Just missed this. Tally's done. It's alright, Tally. I ain't getting you up this time, I'm sorry. We need to save some. Samora, hang in there. Your life is mine. We gotta re regen our shield here. Damn, this is really fucking tough. Headshot. Oof. Incoming. More? I love it. Bring it on. Hey, Hus, thank you for waiting. I do appreciate that. They waited like gentlemen until we killed the two big ass scions. Anything else? Power cells? Power cells? Holy leopard from the grave! Shields have failed. We need to be careful. Where are you at, Tally? You sound like you're 10 miles away. I can't believe there's more scions. Eat that, son of a bitch. Keep it up, Tachika. We almost got one down.
go some more. Oh, damn, we're out. We got a whole ass. Ika, MVP. One's down. Fuck. Let's run. Because it's not covered there. I'm scared. Ladies. Can do. Yeah. Any more scions? There's more hus. I love how the husks are so nice that they wait. Look at this. Look at friends. Wow. I want to take in this view. Such a beast. I wonder how good the Shepherd's drone would be if he was an engineer. Tally's drone is an absolute fucking boss. Go for the Go for the Destroying the Mass Effect core should be simple enough. Then the ship falls into the planet. Okay, are we there? Are we there yet? Look at this view. It's so eerie, is it not? Just the end of space. It kind of makes me wonder how we're able to walk out here with... Because we're kind of like out of space, yeah? We're kind of walking around with no breather on. Unless there's just a big-ass shield that blocks everything that... Well, gives us oxygen, maybe? <laughs> Destroying the Mass Effect core will drop it. How the fuck are we gonna do that? We have big guns. Let's keep on going. Take Reaper IFF just right here. Thank you. What does it look like? The hardware. That is our objective. So the Cerberus team did recover it, but where are they now? They're dead, Tally. We just killed them all fully. They were already dead with the Hus. They're not here. They're all turned into Hus. At this point, I wonder what the elusive man will say about this. Do you think he'll still call it a win? I mean, we got the Reaper IFF. Yeah, a lot's being sacrificed here. But, well, we could save so much more lives in the future. What the hell is he doing? Is he trying to get... Maybe he's trying to steal a Reaper core. There. Are we... Oh shit! Let's go. We're gonna run. On it. Agree. On it. Over here. Thank. One down. Access lab. Oh. With your second. Our companions are. They're fucked. <laughs> we need to get to our pistol. Hang in there. Tally's dead. We can't have that. We can't have anybody down here, I don't think. Not really much to go. Oh. 
Is this thing closed? Fucking closed. Hang in there, Tally. We got more over here. The Chica. This thing. Oh, it's open. Let's big guns this son of a bitch. How you like this, son of a gun? Eat it. <laughs> Fucking shredded. Anyone else want some? <laughs> Shepard, the Geth. I think we should bring it. Its behavior was strange. Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers. We're gonna bring a Geth with us? Holy. You said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Tally. Come on. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. Aye, aye. Get us in, Joker. Motherfucker on the Normandy. Come on, come on. Oh, that's so We're sick. Clear. Go. That was awesome. Really tough mission. Lots of. Well, I was about to say lots of Geth. The Geth is on my mind right now. I wonder what that Geth wanted. He had to want the power core. A Reaper power core? Maybe he was trying to take it for, well, the Geth, really. Reaper IFS successfully retrieved. Lost a Cerberus team on the Reaper vessel. Unfortunate, but unsurprising. We'll use team's health records for comparison against Husk encountered on Reaper. For possible insight into indoctrination and Husk conversion process, there are lots at this point, and that's kind of brilliant in a way, elusive man. There's nothing we can do. Might as well study him at this point. It's not like you're studying on them when they were coherent. They're just, he's using the husk bodies. And the personnel's records to see what can be more successful in resisting indoctrination. 1,000, well, I don't think experience at this point matters, does it not? Shepard gets 50% health, thank you. And 50% shotgun damage. 60% sniper damage. We got 50,000 credits and platinum. We need 75,000 credits so we can get the upgrade on the Citadel. Doesn't look like we're going to, to be able to do it, at least right now. We have an intact geth on the Normandy. I think we need Normandy. to discuss the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact geth would be invaluable to Cerberus' cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I don't think I'm going to... Talk to Lucimen first. I... Cerberus' guys? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to give her... We got a understand what the hell it wants, right? N7 armor. It does have a piece of our N7 fucking armor. Why? How? Comrade Werner had our armor to the hell, so that's not... I mean, anyone can get it. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. Cerberus gets the Geth. I don't want to just hand it over. It seems like the same situation with Grunt here. Remember there was an option not to open the tank and to open the tank. Cerberus gets the Geth. I want to talk to it first. Yeah, I want to talk to it first. I want to know how we're going to talk to a Geth. <laughs> what? I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I ain't killing it, Jacob. I just ain't doing it. We want to know. 
what's going on here first. I want to talk to her first, yeah, definitely, 100%. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. We'll be careful. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. Tally's already So what freaked. about this Reaper IFF? Knows about it. I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. You're gonna have to be careful, Edie, because that doesn't sound fucking healthy. First of all, putting the Geth in Edie's AI core doesn't sound healthy either. <laughs> Let's be honest here. We're doing stuff a bit reckless, Normandy crew. We don't have a choice, just be careful. Edie, please be careful. I don't think that's gonna go well. Immediately she said she's gonna link it to the systems and it's Reaper tech. That doesn't sound safe. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. See you later. I want to talk to this Geth. 22 Paragon. Before we leave out of the episode, I gotta... We have to talk to him. There's no way we're not. Sniper damage. We have a shit ton of upgrades here. What an interesting mission. Did you see the cane? Absolutely obliterated that mother effer. <laughs> what? Sniper damage, 50%. Or shotgun damage, 50%. Yes, please. Sniper rifle damage, 60%. And it costs only 1,000 platinum, and we have a lot. The other one costs platinum, too. 1,000, I believe. Heavy skin weave. Shepard gets 50% health. 7,500 palladium, and we have a lot. Let's just say. Hey, Mord, we got a geth on board here. Shepard, how can I help? That? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Is this... This is going to be... See? Very interesting. I gotta... I gotta see something here. I have to say it. We have a Geth down in the AI core. It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him, but you would know best. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. We have to activate him. The IFF him. is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. I ain't taking nothing just yet, eh? Unread messages. Encrypted transmission from Elusive Man. Shepard, I'm pleased that you were able to recover the Reaper IFF, and I've sent Edie all the necessary protocols to get integrated successfully into Normandy systems. With luck, this will give us the ability to get through the Omega-4 Relay and take the fight to the Collectors on our own terms. Oh man, we're actually doing this, aren't we? I've been notified about the intact Geth and your decision to keep it. If you believe that it can be trusted, then go ahead and activate it. Just make sure that Edie is adequately protected against any hacking attempts. It's not necessarily the decision I would have made, Shepard, but it's your call. You've already cast a wide net in your recruiting efforts, and if they get are willing to fight the collectors, then we can use them on the team. I trust you get the job done, whatever it takes. We're about to have a geth. There it is. There's our last squad mate. It's a fucking geth. Lucid Man's pretty much confirming it here. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. I wonder if we can get it as a squad man. It threw... Uh, that's not what I expected. I really, honestly, 100% was 90% feeling... 100%, 90%. Uh, well, well, I was heavily percentage feeling it was Caden. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I that's think... That's it I'm... for now. See you, Commander. Let's go talk to... The Gath and see what it is. Edie said we have to take a shuttle on the next mission. What does that even mean, Edie? We always take shuttles on the next mission anyway. We'll go down and talk to the Geth. I'm so curious. Does anyone have anything? Tally would probably have something. Inactive Geth. Salvage inactive Geth. Crew quarters. Edie's AI core? Where the fuck's the AI core at on this level? It wouldn't be over here. 
That's the bathrooms. Oh, that one room. I know where it is. Hey, got a minute? Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Take it easy, Kasumi. You don't have anything about that last mission? Samara's good. Thane's good. Garrus good. It has to be in here. There's a, there was a room in Chakwas's office. Yeah, of course. Yo. Hey, you okay? How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Take it easy, Chuck. Well, it's good to hear your voice again, because I haven't talked to you in quite a long time. Inactive Geth. What's that? Can we talk? Whoa, who are you, sir? Ten Hut! Ten Hut! This is just guard. I'm reactivating the Geth. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aya! We about to talk to a Geth. Oh, this is sick. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Why not? Do you know me? Why not? I want to know why not. Why you aren't going to attack me. But I also want to know if you know me. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No. You and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth. And we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. How do you know everything? <laughs> it's easy, probably, to know that Shepard's dead. The basic, uh, you can serve the internet, I guess. <laughs> and just find it. Old machine? Rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. The Old Machines? Oh. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. We watch you? <laughs> what the hell is going on, friends? Is this real right now? You watch who exactly? You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. You just watch organics as a whole. I mean, I can see why. We would watch the Geth as a whole. We do watch the Geth as a whole. So, knowledge of me... You just said You it, seem right? to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic You watch data. me or you watch... Yes. Me? Which? Both. That was sick. Both. All Geth are the same. I fought whom? I fought whom? All get the same? This is curious. I fought whom? What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Wait, what? Protection, the future? Something about heretics asking the old machine? Or... Okay. Protection the future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. But your machines, too. Don't. I thought all Geth revered the Reapers. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. Not all Geth, then. Friends, there's different... There's... What are you going to call them? Well, he, he's calling heretics. There's... It's like... What would you call it? Some kind of, um... 
something that reveres something, but other, let's say, occult, basically. Is it occult within the Geth that revere the Reapers? Protection, the future. What future are the Geth building? Ours. What about organics? Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, uh, the Geth here is straight to the point. Are you with us or against us? Yeah. Let me ask this one more time. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. But your machines, too, though. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. They're different. Maybe they're rebels, then. Whatever this Geth is with other Geth, possibly? Not all Geth revere the Reapers? So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. The heretics are what revere the Reapers. This is a split between two factions of Geth, possibly, it seems. The heretics revere the Reapers, the other ones, whatever this Geth is, don't revere the Reapers, and they want to fight the Reapers, and they want to fight the other Geth, too. Whoa. You want to work with me? Then what do I call you? I don't cooperate, I lead. You want to work with me? Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Quiet idiot? Well, that's a fucking badass name. It. My name is Legion, for we are many? Wait, so I thought one Geth was... How is he... There's a thousand of some platforms within Legion? That would explain how one Geth can kind of... Oh, Pally said one Geth wouldn't be nothing. It wouldn't be able to do anything, really. Let alone, but how? Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 5, Verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. Be careful. <laughs> we anticipate the exchange of data. This motherfucker just held his hand out and didn't squeeze Shepard's. Talk to Legion. Talk to Legion, the AI core. One, okay. Legion, what a fucking awesome name. We, friends, we have a Geth standing right here on our ship and talking to us. <laughs> this is so fucking sick. Hold on, we gotta read, we gotta read. Geth Heretics, yes, I need to know more. Conversation with Geth program dubbed Legion have brought to light a profound schism in Geth society. When Serenar Chorus approached the Geth in the Dreadnought Sovereign, some of them chose to follow him, most did not. Saren's followers were allowed to leave Geth society, but were dubbed heretics by those that remained. The revelation implies several things. First, the majority of Geth chose not to attack organic society. Second, the Geth forces the Citadel and Alliance fleets have battled the last two years represent only a small portion of the actual military and the economic power. Perhaps as little as 5% of mainstream Geth society. We've only fought like 5% of the fucking Geth. That's how huge the Geth are. So the heretics are kind of a limited number. That was just 5%. It seems like so much. I thought the whole Geth as a whole would be revering the Reapers, but no. It's split. It's probably split in half. Third, this schism suggests that individual guests processes more free will and perhaps even personality than previously suspected. Without such individuality, no guest would have deviated from the group decision to join or reject Saren's mission. There could not have been a division. Yeah, there could not. They're more alive than we even suspect. There's no way. They're basically... They are their own race now, friends. They must have advanced so far 
that they are a people at this point. The Quarians will shit their fucking small clothes when they find out this information. Finally, there is a matter of Legion's word choice. The Geth used the English word heretics to describe Saren's followers. Of the many words Legion could have chosen, non-confrontists, dissenters, rebels, etc. I was thinking the same thing, rebels, kinda. Only the word heretic suggests a broadly accepted Geth philosophy or religion, and that the actions of Saren's allies violated the orthodoxy. They did not want to go with Saren. Sovereign. Got a fucking Geth on board here. Get the hell out. It said talk to Legion. What else do we gotta read here? We gotta read. We can't just have stuff in the journal. The M451 Firestorm Flamethrower is a product of human ingenuity, ruthlessness, and industrial espionage. Its origin dates back to the 2160s when human colonists to new planets used flamethrowers to clear vegetation or ice. The fuels perform erratically on planets with extremely cold temperatures and differing air compositions from Earth, realizing this could be a problem for military units. Systems Alliance Intelligence Operas stole the Turian design for the Hera's Flamethrower, a battle-tested workhorse that functioned in nearly every environment. The result was the Flamethrower, an anti-personnel and anti-armor flame unit that can accept a variety of liquid fuels. The Turian design used low-octane hydrocarbons thickened with dentro oil which is taken from large marine animals, similar to Earth's whales. Human then reverse-engineered a synthetic composed with almost identically properties that could be fabricated from heavy weapon fuel cells using an Omni tool. The result is a sticky spray that burns at approximately 1,600 degrees Celsius, a less intense fire than plasma weapons, but covering a significantly wider target area. Adding to the trauma, it is choking smoke produced by the spray, and if the target's armor is breached, the fires quickly consume the oxygen within. The Firestorm may not be the most efficient weapon in the Systems Alliance arsenal, but the sheer ugliness of how it kills ensures it is the most feared. I think the cane is the most feared. We just fucking one-shot the Reaper core with the cane. Edie? What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Makes sense, Edie. Really makes sense. We, what's our quest here? What do we have active? Legion, a house divided, stop the collectors. Legion has a matter it wishes to discuss. Talk to Legion. Call to Legion in the AI core on the Normandy crew deck. What is not the Collectors? The Collector ship yielded two key pieces of information first. The Collectors are actually the ancient Protheans, indoctrinated and mutated into servants of the Reaper. Second, the Omega-4 relay leads to the Galactic Core. The intense gravitational field of the Galactic Core make any jump through the Omega-4 relay a death sentence. Unless a Reaper IFF, friend or foe, device can be found to give the Normandy a chance to navigate the field safely. Await Reaper IFF installation to complete recruitment and N7 missions while the Normandy crew installs the Reaper IFF. She did say use a shuttle on the next mission, that's fine. We're going to talk to Legion, I want to talk to him more. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. What did you learn? Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. It's a synthetic indoctrination thing, in a way. The Dead Reaper, Virus Effects, Hacking, Infection Speed. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Chorus? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. Okay. You're fighting for your survival. You don't want to be indoctrinated. You're fighting just like we are fighting. 
Man, this changes so much. It fucking does. Holy shit. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Wow, they don't want to be broken apart. It wants to be one whole. One whole legion of Geth that are worshiping the Reapers. Hacking. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. That doesn't make sense to me fully, Legion, either. I'm not really good at math. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. Okay. A higher thought process, in a way. Making sense. I still feel like I'm on Twilight Zone here a little bit. That we're actually talking to a Geth aboard the Normandy. And what we just found out about the Geth. It changes everything, friends. It really does. Now that I, just my mind is afire about what we learned on Tally's mission, and because they're going to go to war, but I don't want them to go to war now, in a way, because it seems like the Geth Legion's talking about here didn't want to fight organics, does not want to side with the Reapers. They want to fight the Reapers and fight the enemies that we're fighting. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. This is serious. I want to ask the virus effects one more time. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Okay. That makes sense. Can you find the virus? Can you? Kill it? You know where this thing is? The Heretic's headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. We'll wipe them out. We'll stop them. Maybe later. In the Terminus? They built stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. Why not? Yeah, why not Geth space? But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you for condemning the judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. Mission plan? Opposition? What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. Okay, I'm asking Legion the same thing quite a lot because I feel like I need to. <laughs> because I'm just a bit shocked right now, that's all. I'm a bit shocked and I feel like I need to kind of repeat these things to keep hearing them a bit more. Opposition? What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. 
How many get? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. We'll stop them, we'll wipe them out. Do we want to say we'll wipe them out? We need to get rid of them. We'll wipe them out, we'll stop them, maybe later. I think it's safe to say, Legion, we're going to stop them. Wipe them out. Let's just focus on stopping I them. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. Go to Heretic Station. Double to Phoenix Massing. The Perseus Veil. Codex updated. Wait. Didn't we already go to the Perse Perseus Veil? Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? What do we need to be right? Can you give me a quick rundown of the situation? The Heretics have prepared a weapon that will rewrite all Geth to join the old machines, the Reapers. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the... We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. We can say this now. Now I'm curious. Heretic Headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Thank you, Legion. Whoa! Talking to a Geth is very enlightening. For sure, for sure. Human Perseus Veil. Vale. As vast in natural beauty as it is in threat, the purple and gold nebula called the Perseus Veil vale forms the natural border between Geth space and the Terminus systems. The Veil's vale's total opacity prevents Council intelligence from surveying Geth activity. Theoretically, the Geth could be preparing a devastating attack against which the Council could be defenseless. Or the Geth could have died out, so that the defense budget against them could be gaining the Alliance nothing but economic ruination. Despite fears of Geth, prospectors do occasionally mount salvage ventures inside the Veil. Vale. One ended in tragedy. Using technomental domination, the Geth drew the team into the Veil vale before aiming them back as husks at the organic society that produced them. A leaked classified Spectre report claims that the Dreadnought Sovereign, commanded by ex-Spectre Saren Arterius and crewed by Geth, hid near the Veil vale before initiating the 2183 Citadel attack. That makes a lot of sense if Sovereign did hide out there. No one goes out there. They know it's fully controlled Geth space. Damn, runs. This is a lot to take in. This is a huge lore dump we just have with Legion. And now, well, we Legion's our last companion here. Is this his loyalty mission already? It would seem so. You know what's funny? Is it's hitting me. It's really, really hitting me that if we would have done the Reaper IFF first and got Legion on board, we could have took Legion to Tally's mission. Oh, now I see why it was a deal. Now I see why we did consider it. Okay, it didn't make sense at time because, well, how am I supposed to know we get a fucking Geth as a squad mate? But now I'm so curious to see that. We'll have to see it and I'll do it on my next playthrough. I don't know if I still have a save. I have a lot of saves, but the thing is, like, look, the thing is with Mass Effect, you have I have so many of these saves, I, I don't know which one it is. Now, I couldn't name it. I wanted to name it, but now I can't remember because just taking a lot of stuff with the game, I could keep popping one of these saves and doing new ones. Maybe one of them is the save because I really would love to see uh, Legion on Tally's mission. It, is it, it, well, it has to be possible because Legion's a squad mate. Hey, we got a Geth on board. You guys are cool with it? Garrus is good. Miranda's good. Let's go down and talk to Tally. And then we have this thing with the heretics. We need to destroy these heretics. Before they upload the virus to all the Geth. Friends, we've only fought 5% of the fucking Geth. That's just absurd. How huge are the Geth? And can we fully get the whole Geth armada or the Geth people on our side? You fight against the fucking Reapers. 
back for more. What's up, Zane? Trying to remember. What was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist. Hundred story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kind of reminds me of him. Take it easy, Zaid. Still a crazy mission we dealt with with Zaid, huh? But this Reaper IFF stuff. I still don't know what to think. It's quite a reveal. You guys know that we have a fucking Yeth on board and he's cool? Shepard, what can I do for you? Hey, Tally, you're, you're really okay with uh, Legion? She don't have nothing with Legion, huh? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. Let's go talk to Tally. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. Let's say it never happened. Let's say it never happened. No, you weren't. I don't want to be an asshole, but... You've never been selfish. If anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people. Always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt. Maybe even killed. You deserve to... be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick. Jeopardize the mission. Music is so beautiful at the moment. I feel so bad for Talia. The situation that Koreans go through. What if there were no mission? How sick could you get? Oh, friends, what the fuck, man? Because I want to be with you. All oh, this is probably committing to Tally. Let me think about this. This is too dangerous. We're gonna have to say this is too dangerous. Because we already committed to Liara. Are we even gonna ask these questions? And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Chief Williams died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. I feel like I'm about to shed tears here. How sick would you get? These are questions that I just don't feel like we should be saying right now. Because what we're going to say after this. Oh, uh, am I a piece of shit? Am I? We're talking it. I want it to be nice. I Sometimes you just don't know if you're pushing the relationship through. The dialogue is very misleading at times in this game. It really is. It almost, we initiated a romance with almost every single character that we can romance, it, it seems. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks. Or maybe it would kill me. But that's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. I will say this that I love Tally a lot. I really do. And it's so intriguing that she she wonders if we could ever see past that. I would never not be with Tally because of the face mask. I don't give a hell what she looks like under there. She's one of the most beautiful people in this whole game that we've met so far. And it would be an honor to romance Tally. And see Shepard and Tally's romance bloom together. We've already committed to Liara, and it's killing me. It's fucking killing me inside. Because I really want to commit the tally at this point, too. I just have too much respect for people in and outside the game that I could never... ...go down the road of cheating on somebody. But I will say this, we're definitely 
I meant Natalie next time. Jack's romance is going to be really good too. Miranda. But our second playthrough, if we do choose to play a male again, I don't know if the whole romance... Well, I'm not sure what's going to be for the romance for females. Maybe Tally could be a thing. I don't know. Because Tally loves Shepard no matter what it seems. So, And she's been with us from day one almost. Has Liara been with us from day one? Pretty much. And she has been with us in this game, but she has a higher calling at the moment with the Shadow Broker. She just can't give it up. She was the person that found our body, too. There is that. How do you pick? That's fuck. How do you pick between any? Just how? Impossible. I don't want to risk your safety, Tally. Maybe it would be better if we were just friends. Yes. Right. Friends. And I'm honored to serve at your side, Shepard. I didn't want that to ever happen. Someone just poured their heart out to us, and we just denied them. God damn it. Shepard, what can Honors. I do for you? Honor's a curious thing, friends. It sure the fuck is. Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. She has no hard feelings, which is awesome, but Tally, I love you. I do. Friends, I hope whoever romances Tally out there, I... You're lucky. Let's just say it. You're lucky people. And I want to romance her bad, it's just honor. It's like, I, I just can't bring myself to cheat on Liara and go with somebody else. Ah, uh, Lee! Woo! Hell, man. Let's go to the captain's cabin. I need, some, I need a drink. You even got drinkers up here? Our fish dead? The last time we seen our fish. They're still good. I wanted to come up here and I wanted to check these ships out and see. Because look. Is there any more spots for more ships? We got one on a desk. The shadow broker. Look, we still got Leora's picture there. Damn, man. What do we name our hamster? T-Bone? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Well. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Awesome fucking mission. Let me read again, Kelly. I love reading. We did not get a new message, Kelly. What is this fucking nonsense? How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Damn it, man. I almost wish that we would have just cut Tally's... Been We've more got rented. a geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The Commander's taken out more geth than anybody. This one must be different. <laughs> Legion's very different, friends. He really is. Can we talk to Edie? Because, well, we got a geth on here now. You okay? The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? What is this room? Let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Okay, we've already asked her all that stuff. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I love how the music is still playing and it's still fucking up. It's like playing at my heart So yeah, here. Geth on the ship. Ah, uh, Geth? Hey, we're all freaking insane. <laughs> we kind of are joking. I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yeah, I think it would have been better to go renegade with Tally. Cut it off beforehand. I, you're not going to know on a first time experience, friends. It just ain't going to happen. I want to be, I don't want to be a complete shithead to our companions. When we have options that doesn't look like a flirt, but it also looks like you're being a bit nice with the companions, sometimes it seems if you renegade things, it, it cuts stuff off, does it not, most of the time? Paragon option, the middle option, sometimes push things forward a little bit. You learn more, you get more dialogue. And none of them choices with Tally felt like it was flirts per se. 
but it was also being nice and I guess it kept things open. I didn't want to lead her on like that and just completely shut her down. Look, the only thing we can think of, and this is this is it right here. Yeah, to me it feels like leading on and then shutting her down and destroying her feelings and she didn't deserve that whatsoever. It also makes me feel like you can really go with the RP, RP purpose of, okay, yeah, Shepard loves Tally and he wants to be with Tally. And I do, I love Tally and I do want to be with Tally. And just the way I'm thinking is, okay, I am 100% still feeling the respect and love for Liara, and I don't want to do that to her. But now we can go into RP purposes saying, since we're not going to commit to Tally, we already we can't commit. We can just say that, well, we don't want to jeopardize our health. It's too scary. It's too risky. Because we love her so much, we don't want to spend a night with her or something. So you have sex or whatever we do. And she ends up dying. It'd be hard to live with. Something like that. But that's an RP reason. Could be an RP reason for Atticus. But in my mind, I feel like a real piece of crap. I feel more worse doing that to Tally than I do last mission with Zaid. I feel terrible with last mission and Zaid. Still. I'm so distraught that I'm running around in fucking circles. But I didn't want that to happen, and, well, here we are. <laughs> it was interesting dialogue with Tally, was it not? Really awesome mission with the Reaper IFF. We got information on indoctrination. We fought so many Huss. Oh, my word. Non-biotic people. That mission must have been really hard for you. <laughs> because throw, I spammed it so much. And the cane carried at the end. Tajika carried too. The drone carried big time. Now we have the Geth here. Legion. It seems a certain number of the Geth are heretics and they want to revere the Reapers. And they want to take the rest of the Geth, collide them into one, and then all revere the Reapers and destroy organics. But Legion tells us otherwise that the other Geth that aren't the heretics don't want to fight any kind of organics at all, and they don't want to rear the reapers at all, and they want to fight the heretics, so... What an interesting fucking wrinkle between the two. You really gotta understand that this probably changes stuff with the... with the geth Orion war that may come in the future. Holy shit, friends. Let me just see something here. Let me go to the squad. I'm so distraught that I don't even want to fucking end the episode. Yeah, Legion. Legion's our new companion. Our last companion. Legion has AI hacked in, combat drone, and Geth shield boost. Whoa, friends. Did they spoil it for us then? Did they? When we got a Geth shield strength in Tally's mission, was that kind of a spoiler accidentally? I didn't take it as a spoiler because I didn't know. I thought it was just something that the admirals were gave us. At the end of it, they said they're going to give us gifts, so I thought it was they were giving us the guest shield strength, or we may have got it from Rail Zora. But we didn't get no fucking guest shield boost. Well, here it is. Here's a guest shield boost. That's probably his ability that he gives us. Get the hell out of here. Look how awesome he looks with our armor on. Hell, friends. Well, I did say it earlier, but now I do truly wonder how it was on Tally's mission with Legion. I don't know though, because right now it doesn't feel like we're at a point of no return. So we probably could to the IFF. It feels like no point of no return right now. It doesn't. We can do whatever, it seems, yeah? Let's go to wherever Legion's system is. Because I really... Edie, just gonna say it. You're awesome, madam. I appreciate that. We'll get more fuel. Did you know, thanks to the comments and help, that I can just press this button once? All the fuel. This whole playthrough, I've been spamming this button, wondering why it goes off and on with the damn fuel. And I could have just pressed it one damn time. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Don't mind me. Help Legion Project Overlord. Do we want to go to the Citadel and get upgrades before we help Legion? 
I don't know. Maybe we should just go help Legion. We don't have enough money for anything anyway. We, ha we have... Yeah, 75,000 is what we need. We don't have enough. Phoenix Masson? Oh, it's not even... This is the Project Overlord place. Two musics is going on at once here. Alright. We will see... We will keep this reading for next episode. But we are in this area. Because them two musics, it might be like a bug going on here. It, it would distract me to read. It would it'd be a hard... I would be, feel really sappy reading. Because this... Sappy, sad music. And then we got the uppity galaxy map music. It would just be too much. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.